is the ultimate math notebook but it can be used for science it can be used for any subject that needs some organization that has a lot of information but you want to almost have like cliff notes in order for you to understand the concepts so as soon as you open the notebook you notice that we have a lot of encouraging words because every kid can learn math so after the words of encouragement you'll notice on the left hand side there's nothing but pages of the graph paper. So no more just getting packets of graph paper and just having it on one side. Everything is going to be filed inside this book. So you can actually make your graphs right on point. Don't have to worry about measuring things out, making the guesstimation when it comes to making your graphs. Now you can have a little more accuracy and you can actually write notes right next to it of what that graph is supposed to be associated with. But then on the other side, you'll notice that we're going to have the meat and potatoes of your note system. So this is Coralie Cornell inspired. So if you notice that on the left hand side, we have formulas. So this is where you write all your formulas that you want for that particular lesson. Some lessons will have two, some will have three different formulas that's coinciding together. And by you putting the formula of that lesson in that box, that will give you that quick retrieval when you're actually looking at maybe open note quizzes or assessments. And then just below that, you're going to have the steps. So if the teacher doesn't present the steps, just ask them, what are the exact steps that I need to do in order for me to get my solution? And you can put that inside of that box. By having that and then sample problems to the right of it, this was going to help you to retrieve all this information that you need. Now, if you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you really want to make sure that your kid is understanding the sessions, they can actually look at the mood tracker on the very top. So while they're putting the date of when that lesson is, is this day one or is it day two? And then they can track how they're feeling about the session during the beginning, the middle and the end of the lesson. So hopefully day one, you're expecting a lot of the reds. But by day two, maybe three, you shouldn't see any reds. But if you do, that should give you that alert that maybe you might have to do something more with the chop. But you have a hundred pages of the um, charts as well as the Cornell notes. But in addition to those hundred pages, on the very back, you're gonna have that reference page that I've been talking about. With the reference page, we are replacing that multiplication chart. If you notice, we have from 1 to 200 the different factors to get those numbers. So if you're looking at 49, you got 1 and 49, you got 7 and 7. Those are the numbers multiplied together to get that answer. This helps great, especially when you have those perfect square roots, when you have those perfect squares, and when you're breaking down radicals that you need that perfect prime combination. This is going to help your child get to those answers a lot quicker and more exposure, soon less need of this reference sheet. So then, as well as the multiplication piece, now we're looking at the operations. What are those words that are associated with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, as well as equal? and those identities. Then we have our rules for integers. Trust me, the kids need this, as well as looking at the forms of linear and quadratic equations, order of operations, one in the U.S. and the one internationally, properties of exponents, we're doing some more reference with the circle and sectors and also looking at more three dimension. Then we're doing a little bit more with trig and the unit circle, especially when you get into algebra two second semester, you're going to need this. Then after you do all these things, sometimes we just need a small brain break. So I have a couple puzzles here and then also like a color me section just so you can kind of just relax and get all the retrieval that you need so you can bounce right back. So as you can see, this notebook has it all. You can write your notes out of 100 pages, so that should be able to hold you for the whole entire school year. Then you have the resources that you're really going to need. It's great to have a multiplication chart on the back of a composition notebook, but guess what? That doesn't really help us when you start talking about algebra two, trigonometry, geometry, and maybe even pre-calculus or calculus. We really need a notebook that is going to be designed for your advanced students. So 
if you're really interested if you're just like this is great but i also would love for someone like you to tutor my kid i also have my online tutoring business acg math tutoring if anything you can reach out to any of the social media links that's associated with this notebook to find out more on how i can help you because i've been helping kids for the last five years all over the world from Cairo, Egypt, all the way to California. So if anything, enjoy the book, reach out, give me some feedback, and I will see you soon. Take care.